you guys, it's Dave here from Creative Path Films and in today's video, I'm going to share with you some very simple yet highly effective drone maneuvers that you can add to your next video. Lauren and I recently returned from a documentary feature film shoot for a film titled Against the Tide, which is something we've been working on for the last few years. It's a story about an inspiring family who gave up everything in order to live aboard a catamaran and sail up and down the Great Barrier Reef as a family. We just spent three weeks up in the northeastern corner of Australia shooting some pickups that we needed in order to complete the film. And we only just got back, so this also explains why I look like a bit of a pirate. A big part of what we were filming were drone shots of the family's catamaran, as well as establishing shots of different locations around the barrier reef. So I thought it would be cool to share some of the most useful drone maneuvers that we found ourselves using whilst capturing this footage. Today, we'll move through a series of different techniques, starting with the simplest and moving through to some more advanced maneuvers. All right, let's get into it. So when you operate a drone, you have five different axes that you can control. You can fly forwards and backwards, you can fly up and down, you can fly laterally, left and right, you can pan or rotate the drone left to right, and you can also tilt the drone's camera up and down. We're going to start off with simple moves that involve only one of these five axes, and then we're going to start combining them together to create some more advanced maneuvers. If you're brand new to flying a drone, don't worry. What I found is that often the simplest maneuvers are the ones that are often the most effective and useful when you come into the edit. All right, let's get started. Number one, flying straight forwards or straight backwards. These two moves are possibly the most simple and effective maneuvers that you can use. They involve lining up a subject and flying directly towards or away from it. This simple shot is one that I find myself using more often than any other technique. It can take some practice, however, because flying in a straight line isn't always as easy as it seems, especially if there's wind involved or you start to drift off course. My advice if this happens is commit to your line and finish the shot, even if you drift off course a bit, because nothing kills a shot faster than a micro adjustment trying to bring it back in line again. So commit to the entire shot and then go back and do another take if you're not entirely happy. Flying directly forward is a great way to establish a scene or location, particularly if you're moving into it for the first time. Whereas flying backwards is a great way to leave a location or close out a scene. This is also a great technique if you have an interesting foreground element that you can slowly reveal to an audience as you start to fly over it. So if you have a really interesting element that you want your audience to discover, this can be a great technique to use. Number two, flying straight up or straight down. The next simple move that I wanna show you is achieved by positioning your drone directly over the top of your subject with the camera pointed down towards it and then flying directly up or directly down. Flying directly up away from your subject is a great way to slowly reveal your scene as the scale of your shot slowly widens. On the other hand, flying your drone down on top of your subject is a great way to draw your audience's interest and focus towards a single point. Number three, a lateral track. A lateral track is a lateral move towards either the left or to the right, and it's usually used when following a moving object. This technique works best when you have foreground, middle ground, and background elements to create that dynamic movement. We didn't find ourselves using this technique all that often because when you're following a boat out on the open ocean, you rarely have a foreground or a background element to add to the shot. It also doesn't help that the boat moves quite slowly, so the resulting shot looks like the boat isn't moving at all. This technique works best when you're tracking with a fast moving object with both a foreground and a background element. Number four, hovering and panning or tilting. Now this isn't a technique that I personally find myself using a lot 
because it takes away that dynamic movement that a drone can give you and it essentially turns it into a flying tripod. Now there are a few exceptions where this can give you a really interesting perspective. The first is a slow rotation and this is achieved by hovering your drone directly above your subject and then start to pan your drone. Now this is best executed with a very slow rotation. If you go too fast, it can be very jolting and disjointed and it can make your audience feel sick. All right, so that takes us through all of our single axis moves. Now let's have a look at a few ways that we can combine some of these together to create some interesting maneuvers. Number five, a pan and tilt combo. Surprisingly, this first combination is another static hovering shot. This is a second exception to what I said before. This shot works best when following a moving subject. To execute this shot, what you want to do is hover your drone in position and then simultaneously pan and tilt your camera as the subject moves through the frame in a diagonal direction. This is a really interesting shot because you're following a moving subject from a really unique vantage point that we don't often get to see. This shot is admittedly a little bit tricky and may take some practice to get right. Number six, raise up and tilt down. This next combo move involves flying your drone directly upwards while simultaneously tilting down to keep your subject nicely framed. The trick with this one is to perfectly match the speed of the raise up with the tilt down to make it appear seamless. And this can be a little bit tricky. This technique is a great way to reveal the scope of your scene and works really well with locations that are grand and expansive. Performing this move in reverse, so flying down while simultaneously tilting up, can also be really interesting and can be a great way to draw your audience's attention in on your subject. Number seven, fly back and raise up. This is an extremely interesting and dynamic shot and it's one of my personal favorites. It works really well when you use it to reveal an unexpected foreground element. It's another great technique that you can use to show the scope and grandeur of a location. When executing this shot, you may find that you need to adjust your tilt subtly to maintain your framing. This next shot is the opposite to our last shot and is achieved by flying simultaneously forward and down. This is best used when we have an interesting subject in either the middle ground or the background that we want to move towards and draw in our audience's focus. Again, with this one, you may need to make subtle adjustments to your tilt to maintain your framing, depending on the shot. Number nine, fly forward and raise up whilst tilting down. This combo move involves flying forward and upwards while simultaneously tilting down. Essentially, what you end up doing is flying up and over your scene. This shot can make for an epic reveal under the right circumstances and works best with tall foreground elements such as trees, mountains, or sand dunes. Number 10, Parallax. All right, so I've saved my favorite for last. And this is the shot that I probably use the most out of any other technique on this shoot. And that is the parallax shot. This move combines a lateral movement to either the left or the right with a simultaneous pan in the opposing direction. When executed correctly, what the pan does is it keeps your subject in the center of the frame and the drone ends up flying in a circular movement around your subject. The reason this shot is so dynamic and interesting is because as you fly around your subject, the foreground appears to move in one direction whilst the background elements appear to move in the opposite direction simultaneously. This shot looks great in most situations and worked even when our boat was out in the open ocean with nothing around. But if you want to create the most cinematic shot possible, having a layered shot with a foreground, middle ground, and background element will really take this shot to the next level. I'll be talking about this concept of layering your shot, plus a couple of other drone tips that I have in an upcoming video. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on that one. One final bonus tip that I'd like to leave you with for this video is the addition of counter movement. Counter movement simply means having an element within your shot that moves in the opposite direction to the movement of your drone. If you have all the right ingredients in your scene, counter movement can be really, really interesting and can help to elevate your shot even further. 
One example of this would be to have your drone moving left to right whilst having an object in your frame simultaneously moving right to left. Adding this counter movement makes your shot just that little bit more dynamic and adds that extra spice that can take your shot to the next level. If you can plan this counter movement into your shots, they can make them really visually dynamic. But with us and documentary shooting, sometimes you're just in the right place at the right time and it adds that little bit of extra spice to your shot. Well, there you have it guys. Those are my top drone maneuvers that you can add to your next shoot. And if you'd like to learn more about the Against the Tide documentary and how you can see it once it's released, check out the link down in the description. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know by leaving it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.